the moss shimmered in the moonlight, overtaking everything. She marveled at it. The streaks of emerald, this strange kind of life crawling across the esplanade beside the river Seine. Beautiful, Gandry. Your latest draft, it's vivid, takes me there. Still seasick. Yeah, I know what you mean. You've never actually been to Paris? No. Not yet. Maybe I can make it there when we finally get ashore. Somehow I don't think the smugglers are taking us to France. It's possible. If anybody could make that happen, it's probably you. <laughs> well, you're the one who hacked the ship's Wi-Fi so we could talk. True. You had the best reason for me to do it. Nobody but you would even think about organizing a writer's critique group <sighs> while fleeing our country on a cargo ship. We can dream, can't we? <laughs> hey. Hey. We have to. With all our might. Why not Paris on a moonlit night? Hello, hello. Shh, keep it down. I didn't know anyone else was joining us. I didn't either. Wait, you're the host. You didn't admit him? Oh, but of course you did, way. Right? Uh, you admitted me, way. Right? No. If, if you didn't have the link to this meeting, how did you get here? Perhaps I am the missing link, eh? <laughs> and where might here be? Drab. Drab, no? These uh, little boxes in which you reside, they are like the shells of rotten hazelnuts. Are you even French? Are you even American? I... Now... I don't know. All right, all right. But actually, this is a private session. This is our own secret writing critique group, okay? Yeah. I did not mean to, how you say, uh, interlope when uninvited. Au revoir. I thought that kind of thing never happened anymore. I thought they'd platform fix the security bugs. This is a far cry from a secure environment. Yeah. You okay? I miss home. You know, um, home the way it was before. Yeah, I do too. Before this became the better choice. <laughs> hey, hey. You've got something to share for critique? Oh, uh, I don't know. <sighs> maybe, maybe this, it's, it's little. It's, yeah. it's really rough. Go ahead, we're just drafting. Uh. Inside the snow globe, glistening flecks of winter. Why do they sting me? A haiku! <laughs> you said my description was vivid? Your words took me inside that glass snow globe and your feelings transported me. Ironic. We're talking about being transported, being moved, but you're so stuck. Cheer up, little buttercup. We're moving. The ship is moving. I don't know if I can stick to our rules. We talked about this. We try not to get too far down into the hard stuff while we meet in group. A group? 
What kind of group is this anyway, showing our mad scribblings only to each other and straining to read by the faint glow of our computer screens, trying not to speak too loud so we don't get caught suffocating in these cargo holes? Are you saying you want to leave the group? I'm saying it's just too much to pretend that there's nothing horrible out there. We're not pretending. We're not denying. Just suspending all that. We have to escape now and then. When we read, when we share our imagination, we just travel together. S sure. Mm -hmm. I thought that's why you joined. Don't you believe that? I don't know what I believe anymore. I'm not saying it's easy. I just find it soothing. And it seemed like you do too. How about a bit from another chapter I'm working on, hmm? A return to a Paris moonlit night. Hello, hello. Shh. You have, uh, how you say, uh, requested my return? <laughs> Not exactly. Who are you? Uh, who am I? What, who are you? Who are we? We? Perhaps I am only, uh, how you say, uh, uh, demolisher of uh, your uh, petite soirée. <laughs> a party crasher? Or uh, perhaps I work in conjunction with you. Perhaps, uh, perhaps I am a dream. But we're both seeing you and hearing you at the same time. Dreams don't work like that. <laughs> Some dreams can be shared, no? You are on a boat. Well, I am not a, an unhandsome man. I could be, how you say, a dream boat. <laughs> That's not exactly what that means. <laughs> you accuse me of not being real? You, you, you accuse me of being a dream? I submit. I admit. I submit. <laughs> what does that leave me? He just... I wish he hadn't gone this time. What he just said, I, I feel the same way. Not quite here. <sighs> Maybe we should not provoke him too much. You know, we're trying to keep a low profile. I know. He, he's just not like anyone I ever met, even from France. I just don't understand who he is. Just because we don't yet understand each other doesn't mean we should reject each other. Are you talking about him or us? Both. Maybe? It, it, somehow he just sort of got on our wavelength. Well, he always comes back when you mention... Paris? Hello, hello. <laughs> Please accept our apologies, monsieur. You may not have our sight link, but somehow you forged a connection. Would you like to join our little literary session? Merci. I am, uh, for the sore eyes, a sight. <laughs> you yourself are a sight from Paris? A parasite. <laughs> but you are the host, no? Hmm. Let's just say you're a Parisian. Oi. We are all hosts here. And all guests. And we travel together. We can dream... Can't we? We have to. With all our might.